Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Gay Tanya. I hope you all are doing good today. So in today's video, I will be reviewing the newly launched moisturizers from The Minimalist. For today's video, I will be specifically uh, reviewing the Vitamin B5 10% moisturizer. What is Vitamin B5? Vitamin B5 is also known as Panthenol. Now, what is Panthenol? Panthenol is uh, known for its soothing, repairing and moisturizing properties. So unlike hyaluronic acid which is a humectant, Panthenol has the added advantage of both humectant as well as an emollient. Now what is the difference between the two? So humectants are known to attract the moisture within the environment and seal it into your skin. Whereas in Molians, suits out the surface of your skin. What it does is that it fills in gaps in between skin cells to improve dry patches and makes it more flexible. Basically, emollients help dry, rough, patchy, flaky skin and makes it look and feel better by conditioning and softening it. Coming back to this product, um, like you can see, the main ingredient is panthenol. It's the second ingredient in the list and it provides an intense calming effect. It also moisturizes, hydrates and strengthens the skin's barrier. Moving on to the ingredient list, it doesn't have fragrance, parabens, sulfates, dyes, essential oils which makes it perfect for sensitive dry skin as well. It has humectants, emollients which is going to be great for or hydrating the skin um, I think overall it has a bunch of great ingredients hydrating ingredients in it um, I honestly love this moisturizer I feel it's a nice um, affordable moisturizer it provides a lot of moisture moisturization to my skin uh, like you can see in this clip so I'm quickly going to show you guys how my skin looks and feels with this moisturizer on. Right now I have just washed my face and I'm applying this moisturizer. Like you can see the consistency and the texture of this moisturizer is really smooth and it's a gel type of a moisturizer. I honestly love it. It's really soft to use. My skin is so hydrated after applying this moisturizer. I did not apply any serums after washing my face. I directly jumped in with a moisturizer so that you guys can see how my skin looks with this moisturizer on. Now this moisturizer will be amazing for dry, oily and combination skin. Now the only downside with using this moisturizer is that it leaves my skin feeling so sticky and tacky which I personally don't like at all. So my fingers actually stick to my face like you can see in this clip and this is what I hate the most. But I did find a solution to that as well. So what I do is I apply this moisturizer all over my face and I follow it up with my SPF, my sunscreen. I did try using two different sunscreens with this moisturizer just to test it out and see what works and what doesn't. So the first one that I used was the Cheryl's um, sunscreen with this moisturizer and the second one I used was the La Shield sunscreen. So I'm using the Cheryl's sunscreen in this clip right now and I just wanted to show you guys how my skin feels and looks like. So once I applied this sunscreen on, my skin still felt the same. When I used the Cheryl sunscreen, it still left my skin feeling tacky and sticky. But when I used the Lush Shield sunscreen, um, since it's a gel based sunscreen, it left my skin feeling so soft, taking away all of that gooey feeling. So here's a quick clip of me applying the Lush Shield sunscreen after I've applied the moisturizer on and this one just left my skin feeling so so good like it took away all of that stickiness I loved it I loved the way my skin felt so yeah if you too do not like that sticky tacky feeling try this out and let me know if it helps I am sure it will definitely help you out um, also I did test this moisturizer with a foundation because this is an in-depth review of this moisturizer so i did not like it with my foundation like you can see in this clip i did try it out i put on the moisturizer 
I did not put a primer nor an SPF before using a foundation just to show you guys what it looks like if you apply the foundation just on this plain moisturizer like you can see it still left my skin feeling tacky sticky and I did try using a compact as well but it did not work at all I remember using this moisturizer in the initial days when I was testing it out so I had to go for a party and I applied this moisturizer with my foundation, my concealer and my compact and I regretted the entire night because it left my skin feeling so tacky, so gooey. I honestly did not like my skin the way it was feeling. Um, anytime I would just lift my hand just to take away the hair of my face. I used to feel like my skin was so sticky and I hated that feeling I hated it so much so here's what you can do what I did was I left the moisturizer on for around 15 minutes I let it sit in my skin let it absorb inside my skin and then I applied a foundation and the process of makeup That really worked out so well, so I would highly recommend you guys to try this on. Now you can try out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. This was my personal review of this moisturizer. I personally found it sticky and gooey, but here is how I worked with it. And it does provide a lot of moisturization to my skin. It hydrates my skin so well, so I honestly loved this moisturizer. Also, the other thing what I quickly wanted to come here and talk about was the um, consistency. I feel that it's quite runny. It was like a mixture of toner plus a moisturizer. It balances the skin's moisture level which makes it less prone to dryness and leaves my skin soft and supple. So overall, I think this is a really nice affordable moisturizer and will I buy it again? Yes, I will but I will follow all of these steps. and. Yes, also if I apply this moisturizer at night, I will definitely make sure I apply a bit of squalene oil so that it just takes away all of that sticky feeling and I can just sleep in peace without having my face sticky and all of that jazz. That's all I have for the Minimalist Vitamin B5 Moisturizer. I will be doing a detailed video on the Marula Oil 0.5% so stay tuned for that. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video and let me know your thoughts if you have tried this moisturizer. I would love to read it and I'll see you soon. Bye!